We're going up to my Dolphins room where I have my collection of Miami Dolphin items. Right here in this display is all high school yearbooks and a few college yearbooks of players that played for the Dolphins. Uh, pretty nice collectible. This is actually the pre-rookie, like when we collected rookie cards in baseball. This is before that. Uh, I like this because this is really early on the, for the players. Right here, I have some autographed pictures. Me and Dan, uh, me and Warren Spahn, Dan again, and then Mickey Mantle. Uh, nice pictures. And then over here in this room, I had to put my program somewhere. These are in those white boxes are all the Dolphin programs I've collected. There's over a thousand. I'm only missing the one games that they just didn't make them. They made roster cards and that's about it. And these, and these folders are uh, Miami Dolphin tickets. I have every one except for 10. And then here's the Dolphin room. And then in this room, I've got, in this display case, I've got Zach Thomas's jersey, cleats, um, John Offerdahl, uh, so Jason Taylor's cleats, Zach Thomas's cleats. And then down here, Zach Thomas's game worn jerseys, his game worn helmet. Uh, this is the helmet he, he wore when he broke his jaw. You can see how it juts out a little bit by the face mask. They built that into it. And then here's Jason Taylor's helmet. And then Jason Taylor's jerseys, game worn wristbands, pants, socks, gloves, belts. And then here's a Super Bowl trophy. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, this trophy was made by a silversmith in England. Does a heck of a job on him. Um, he sold one to Pete Rosell's daughter. She couldn't believe that it's exact as the as the actual one. And then in this display case, I got a I have a uh, a Heisman Trophy, and this is exact, except it's not lead uh, like the real one. And uh, the guy who made it actually worked for the company that made the Heismans and made it to the exact specs. Uh, I have not seen one that looks exactly like this. Uh, usually they have a real cheap base. Uh, this one is real nice. It's made by Polly Rosin. It's Polly Rosin at the top. Uh, real sharp. And then in here, the jerseys are just authentic jerseys that are uh, autographed by Ricky. Uh, autographed programs, shirts, helmets, balls. Just everything from Texas. And then right here, this is a backpack from the Saints by Ricky. And then here is a Texas backpack. And then the one down here from Texas, this was his son's and his name was on it, Prince. And these came from a storage unit in Florida. And I just saw on TV not too long ago, Ricky's uh, financial manager uh, didn't pay for it. This was about five, six years ago, I believe. And, uh, and then had to give up the storage unit. That's the law in Florida, and uh, had a ton of Ricky stuff in there, and I'll show you more later. Right here is uh, Fulton Walker's uh, high school jacket with some of the patches on it. Pretty nice. Uh, this is uh, the chair, came from the locker room. The, the orange seat, that's a bench seat from uh, the old Orange Bowl. And then right here is... It's about the size of a manhole cover, and it's real heavy. This came from Locker Room Sports, and uh, I believe it was five different players. One was Dan, Michael Jordan, Shaquille Neal, and I think there was two other players. I forget who the other ones were. And then right here, I've got a mannequin fully dressed with the new uniform of the Dolphins with, with a uh, cape, the old Dolphins logo, and then this is the 50th anniversary jerseys. And then right here is a helmet lamp. Riddell used to make these. these. This is an actual helmet, not game worn, but they sent them to make lamps out of them. And these were actual real helmets. Uh, they're not store bought. So these were, these would have gone to the team, but instead they made lamps out of them. Pretty nice. And then down here, I have some, uh, uh, these are the bent, the, the bench seats, the cushions that you sit on, and these are from 1966. 
These were pretty rare. I haven't seen these around at all. Here's a Damian Williams jersey. Uh, I bought it because it looked like Ricky's jersey, number 34. And uh, he played pretty good in the Super Bowl. Too bad he wasn't that good with the Dolphins. The new helmet's actually pretty nice. I like the new helmet. Still wish they'd go back to the old logo, but this is pretty nice. Right here, I have some some jerseys from the 80s that I don't have room to display. And then here's an old equipment bag. Uh, these are Jim Jensen's uh, winter gloves. And then another old equipment bag. And then over here, this flag, this is actually 15 foot by 18 foot. Uh, it's inside of an equipment bag. It's the only way I could display it. This came from Soldier Field in Chicago. Soldier Field, when they closed down, uh, this is actually part of a helmet. It's the big giant helmet. They used to have all of them, uh, all the teams, 28 or 30 or whatever that were at the time, all the way around the stadium. And uh, this is really nice. It's just there's no other way of, uh, of displaying it. Then here's a chair from the, from the locker room, one of the Dolphin chairs. And then over here is a bobbing dow of uh, Ricky Williams. Uh, the head is life-size head. It's about three and a half feet tall. And uh, it's the largest bobble head that they make. Uh, there's a Texas one out there and there's a Marino one out there. But I've never been able to purchase those. Then over here in this display case are cups and mugs, decanters, steins. A lot of rare ones. The decanters at the bottom. These all are Hall of Fame ones of Dolphin players that were inducted. Represents when they got inducted. Here again, Jason Taylor's equipment bag. Another equipment bag. This is a pylon when uh, the Dolphins played the Eagles a few years ago. And then up here is Lewis Oliver's 25th anniversary jersey. Pretty nice. Uh... This is another mannequin, game-worn helmet. Jersey's just authentic, not, not legit. Pants are, pants are game-worn, Dolphins. Then up here is a Color Rush jersey from a couple years ago. What a crazy color. And then speaking of crazy colors, here's a Mark Duper rookie jersey. Uh, if you look at the color, it's actually lilac color. And what happened on this was one of my buddies... Worked for the Rochester Red Wings, and, uh, and he used to get some Dolphin jerseys back in the early 80s, and he got this jersey. And went to a Bills game and loaned it to his wife's girlfriend to wear because it was a cool day. And after the game, she took it home and uh, said she was just going to wash it and give it back and washed it with some purple corduroy pants, and that's what turned out. A lilac-colored Mark Duper rookie jersey. Nice. And then in this display case, which is pretty neat, all the, all the jerseys are from the 80s. Uh, helmets are all game worn except for the front one in the front that has all the autographs on it. And that one has, this one right here that has the dolphins on the back, is uh, Bob Greasy's warm-up jacket from the late 60s. You don't see too many of those around. And then here's Don Shula's jersey, Don Shula's shirt rather, game worn. And then here's another Don Shula shirt. Uh, it's an odd one. It's got plaid, plaid collar on it. Pretty crazy. Here's Clayton, Duper, Stevenson, Kuchenberg, Hugh Green, Baumhauer, Roby. Pretty much everybody from the 80s is in here. Vigorito, Geisler, Tony Nathan, one of my favorite players, Don Strzok. And then, of course, here's Dan. Uh, it's not his helmet, it's another helmet. Uh, Game-worn jersey by him. Pants aren't his though. Pants are game-worn, just, just from that era. The, the stirrup socks that you see on the left side of his jersey are really rare. I've been collecting for a long time. I've never ever seen anybody else have these. Uh, these are pretty crazy. And uh, I, I just never seen them. Never seen them advertise anything. Never even seen really anybody even talk about them. Uh, so th that's those are real nice. And then there's shorts, socks, all different socks and helmets. I've have a couple helmets 
the one right straight ahead in the middle of Merino and to the left is, uh, is uh, Lloyd Mumford's helmet. And then here's some pictures. These hung in Miami for an event for the Dolphins. They were hanging on a wall and I bought a bunch of them. Uh, here's all three of the running backs, Zonka, Kick, and, uh, and uh, Mercury. And then here's Don complaining about some call. And uh, there was some function for the Dolphins back a long time ago in the early 80s. And then here, here's a huge banner flag that hung in, in the Orange Bowl. This is about 20 feet long, so I had to drape it around the display case to display it. You have to be creative to do all this. Not much room in here, but this one's beautiful. The old dolphin emblem was great. God, I wish we'd go back to that. And then over here, here's my G.I. Joe collection. Uh, my wife hates that it's in here, but that's the way it goes. I have no other place to put it. Pretty nice. These are all from the early 60s. Made a diorama of them. I think it came out nice. And then here's more of them. The foreign soldiers, the German, Japanese, Russian, French. And this display case, I've got tons of stuff. I don't even know what I have actually in here. Stuff on top of stuff. And then right here is, this is a, a big, huge canvas of Dan Marino hung on a building in Miami. This is about two stories, two stories high. This one right here, this is the picture of it, hung in, this hung in on a, on a building, and it's got the he big heavy grommets on it. Pretty cool. Um, and there's no way to display it. I had to have a display case built with it, and uh, just showed off the top of his head helmet, and the uh, top of the jersey, rather. Pretty nice. The, the equipment on the back uh, is... Uh, uh, ball boys from the from the Dolphins, their parka jackets from the winter. Here's the old, the very first pennant of the Dolphins, and it was actually a dolphin fish, which is crazy. Uh, I don't know why they put that on there instead of an actual dolphin, but that's what the Dolphins went with. Here's Reggie Ro or Reggie Roby, Reggie Bush's cleats, his his practice jersey, his white jersey, aqua, and then white one. And then right here, Vikings helmets. Vikings have great uniforms. Colts. These are a couple of my favorite helmets and jerseys. And then here's a banner from the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 19. Hanging on the ceiling. This is about 4 feet by 8 feet. 3 feet by 8 feet. Pretty nice. And then all the pennants on the ceiling. Got a lot of rare ones. Pennants take up space too. I hated putting them on the ceiling, but there was really nowhere else to put them.